The number one ranked College of Idaho Yotes returned home tonight after a two week road stretch. And as they faced off with their rivals from up north, it would prove to be one of their closest games in Cascade Conference play. Packed house tonight at the J.A. Albertson Activity Center. The Yotes looking for their 19th consecutive win as they welcome the Lewis Clark State Warriors back and forth to start this one. Jake O'Neill gets it going, showing off the fadeaway to escape a pair of defenders. And eventually the Yotes get it rolling. Drew Wyman letting the three ball fly off the fast break he connects and that sparks a run and when the Yotes get moving at a high tempo it's a lot of fun Charles Elsey throws the cross court lob Johnny Radford is there to field it shown off the hand eye coordination on the reverse and that one got the crowd fired up well check out the encore here Samaj Morgan gets it to Stratton Rogers he's going all the way up throwing down the two handed jam and the Yotes would pull ahead on a 10 to 2 run Rogers already getting the standing ovation before halftime the Yotes played their brand of basketball in the first great offensive rebound from Wyman he he gets the assist over to Paul Wilson and the Yotes led by 14 points at halftime. But like any good rivalry game, the Warriors stayed in the fight, getting this one all the way within four points. But in the end, the Yotes were able to hold on and close it out. There's Paul Wilson hitting a big post hook, stretching that lead out to six and the sign of a good team being able to close out tight games. The Yotes led the entire second half, able to stretch out their lead in the closing minutes. They're going to hold on to that number one ranking for tonight after a 74 to 63 win.